A Coral Hill family is facing uncertainty after their home was destroyed in last week's storms. The Gembo family immigrated from the Democratic Republic of Congo to the U.S. and settled in Iowa about five years ago. KCRG TV 9's Molly Swain visited the family at the hotel where they're currently staying to hear about the impact of losing their home. We were like thinking it's over for this Gembo family. Jocelyn Gembo was the oldest son in the family, and he helped his parents describe what it was like on March 31st when one of the tornadoes that hit eastern Iowa that day collided with their home. Does that keep panicking? We was panicking. You could just hear a lot of things was falling, fridge, like upper layer stuff was just crashing down, and we were like, we thought it's over. The family hid from the storm in the basement. After that, after the tornado hit, we heard someone knocking, yelling, help, help, is anyone alive in the house? Everyone in the seven-person family was unhurt, but now they're facing the monumental task of rebuilding the life they've worked so hard to create. To so think, you know, you've given up everything. You've left behind family in your native country and come to a different place to try to create a better life for your kids and give them more opportunities. And then to have this happen is really just unthinkable. Tiffany Roislin is an English language learning teacher at Liberty High School. She was Jocelyn's teacher and currently teaches his younger brother. She and others who know the family have helped with temporary housing, a GoFundMe, even navigating the paperwork that goes along with disaster relief. They're just a great family and great kids and we want to do what we can to help. And the Gembos, even though they lost so much in the storm, are full of gratitude for everyone they credit with helping them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And even with saving them from the storm. God protected me and my family. I'm, I'm grateful for that. In Coralville, Molly Swain, KCRG TV9 News.